Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Kenji. In between the episodes I made sure that we progress just a tiny little bit. For instance we have upgraded equipment, we have one new person I'm gonna show you in just a second and we have the beginning of a little bit of defense. As you can see a shabby little wall. What I would like to do in today's episode is actually get more people because right now we are doing very well with the food. As you can see, I've actually also been stealing a little bit of food and I'm gonna probably show you that in today's episode as well. And I've been trading an awful lot of stuff. I also started building six beds on the top of this building. However, we do need fabric and for that we actually also need cotton. So in order to get into that area, we need two cotton, which we have, but we also need two books. So books might be a thing I want to go for right now. Another thing that I did is actually upgrade all of the farms. So right now these farms can carry 30 plants and the wheat straw farm can even carry 49 plants. The upgraded well does use a little bit of power, but it doesn't need any workers anymore. So I'm not complaining about that. And that is the reason I also installed this new water tank. The new person we have is Siga right there. And I actually assigned her offshore. Well, I'm just calling it offshore. It's not really offshore. She is taking care of that uh, copper vein here. I also want to send another person to help her with that. But as you can see, she's eagerly collecting the copper and therefore also making some money for me. So I think what I want to do is actually get a load in. Maybe we can get a new person from the hub. It's not too much we can sell at the moment. Uh, let me actually walk to Squin. It's almost the same distance. And I think we might have a little bit more luck over there. Um, okay, she is in trouble. Ah, uh, no, 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 that's not good. Let me see, maybe we can leave our backpack here. Let me see, this guy here has a speed of about 14. And if we got rid of the backpack and, you know, collected it later again, we have a speed of 9. So we're still slower. And they're gonna steal all of my food. Actually, maybe not necessarily. If I have the food in my backpack and I just throw this out... Oh no, now I have a run speed of 19, so I'm much faster than them. Okay, I forgot to unpause to let the stats update. Yeah, there we go. They're completely ignoring the wooden backpack over there. What a bunch of idiots. Come on, boots, 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 boots. That's what I'm talking about. So you guys can screw yourself. I'm going back to my backpack. Right there. Oh, good. It's still there. I'm not sure how long it takes for stuff to despawn. Nice. As we can see, the bandits have been taken care of. Maybe we can actually sell some of those as well. I mean, there are like 45 a pop. Man, look at her boobs. That's crazy. And look at this ass. Jesus. Over-sexualizing stuff here. There we go. We got all of their weapons so they cannot harm anyone else. Here we are. Here we are ready to sell some stuff. Show me what you got. I want you to take all of this shebang and we're up to 21,000 again. We got a couple of books here and also fabrics. I do need the fabric so I'm gonna pick those up. I guess once we have the cotton going it shouldn't be an issue anymore. Ooh, looks like maybe this guy could be willing to join us. You think I would join a flat skin? Okay, I guess we need some more reputation with these guys. All right, Siga is going back to her outpost over there. And I guess since Chops is still active, she's going to resume working. I'm also going to take Beastie, actually. Beastie is still very untrained. Yeah, athletics only 9. I think what I'm gonna do with Beastie is I'm also gonna send it to the outpost in order to claim the materials we just bought and bring them back. In the meantime, we are once again collecting stuff from the fields. We have green fruits and cooked vegetables for days. We now definitely need to expand our numbers. Let me actually see. Maybe we can finish the wall already. We got walls here. Right now we only have the standard walls unlocked, but I assume that is going to change very soon. I would like to have my entrance right here, to be quite honest with you. So maybe we're going to do that, and then instead of a gate, we need a wall that we can attach here. And then I guess we just follow the river a little bit. Something like that, and can I... Oh no, can I not hook that up? Okay, well, we're going to start this once again, but this time we're going to start from here. 
Okay, I think we got it. This is all I really want to do right now. I don't really see... Oh, well, okay. This is kind of connecting. So if we get this to fit, then I can connect this. So if we get to build this, that means this is the only entrance, at least the only convenient one, everything else you would have to knock down. So let's confirm this for a bit. And actually, yeah, we still have plenty of building materials which is exactly what we need for this. This is going to be an incredible intense job and it's going to give me the opportunity to level engineering even more. So I'm not going to let other people's help. As I stated previously, I want Nathan to be incredible in almost every stat. I mean, just look at him. He's crazy dedicated. And he's actually starting to build the wall. Build the wall. Build the wall. Siga is still on her merry way. Man, she takes a long time. Well, she's almost there. Let's see if she picks up work again. Ah, there we go. Let's put her here. Feels a little bit more secure. Ah, Nathan actually started with the gate. Good choice. Good choice. It's a little bit wonky, I have to say. But since this is only a defensive wall and not, you know, the good stuff, I don't really care. I'm probably gonna tear this down at some point. And the gate is completed and we can actually close it. Intriguing. Okay, Siga, time to trade. We want to have all of the books, all of the fabrics, and I guess that's going to be it for now. Though we could actually go to the hub and see if they have something else. Maybe I'm actually going to leave Beastie right here so we can be more efficient with carrying stuff around. Let's actually do that. Squad Beastie. I have animals right here at the moment, but I'm going to pair these two together. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. More research books. Let's actually put those into Beastie's inventory. Ooh, Molly, 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 Molly. Maybe we can get her to join us. Let's talk to her. Molly can actually make rum from the looks of it. Take this chance to hire yourself an expert brewer. Sure, how much? 6,000 cats. That's a steep price. I wish I could see her stats before making the deal, but I guess let's try it out. 6,000. Molly, hello. Cooking! Okay, that is not bad. We finally have a good cook. You know, when Nathan is out of town, we have someone else taking over. Let's do that. Uh, Molly is gonna trade with Beastie and she's gonna grab the materials instead. So Molly's got all of the good stuff and all she needs to do is make it safely back to our base. And then we're gonna exchange her with someone else. Maybe we just wait for another cheap recruit to send to the outpost. Let's put Molly into the worker squad here. Oh, raid moving towards your outpost. Now, I'm of course not sure which outposts they mean. That is a problem. Maybe I can rename it here. Okay, that, that would be better. Let's call this copper mine. And we might have to clear one of our bases soon. Ah, there we go. Molly is being attacked. Or, yeah, definitely being attacked. She has approximately the same speed as the bandits. Maybe we can get rid of something. Not really a lot we can get rid of. Ah, we might gain another athletics point in just a second. Ah, darn it. Molly's gonna go down in history as a loser. This is really something weird in Kenji, these chases. I mean, they go across the entire map if you have the same speed. I don't see how they give up. Ah, look at that. You can see my outposts from far away now. This looks pretty epic. Ah, ah, we got some hounds. Maybe they actually help us distract a couple of these guys. Yes. Perfect. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. No! <laughs> the world of Kenji. I don't have any food with me. Don't you see? At least we managed to get rid of one bandit group. But I'm not sure if we can make it back to the outpost. Also, where is this darn raid? I still haven't seen any armies approaching. Molly actually made it almost to the base, so we can deliver these guys a fight. Bunch of bastards. Come on, Molly. Just a couple more steps. So should we bring everyone over here? I guess we should. Uh, let's all come to this place. I'm gonna meet up with Molly. Yes, yes, almost. There we go. Help each other. Where's Nathan? Oh, man. You're taking the swimming way. Well, at least we train a little bit. Okay, Bully is actually also helping and he is great. We need more of these guys. There we go. Nathan is also finally joining the group. Time to hack and slash. Yeah, we definitely need better, more proper protection. Sure enough, the bandits here are easy. But the raiders? I don't know, we need turrets. 
and at least five people for defense. We need gate guards. All right, I think we got everything under control. Nathan is already taking care of the medic stuff again. Now, one interesting thing I have built in between the episodes is when these bandits actually die, their corpses would attract scavengers. But there's this little contraption here, the corpse furnace. So this is an easy way to get rid of them and even gives you some electricity. Yeah, a lot of our people are not doing great right now. I mean, Molly, the first thing you can do is actually go to bed, though I want to give you the jobs. Let me see, Hops or Bark, one of you has to go. Let's uh, send Hops, I guess. Uh, Hops has a good laboring skill and he can help out with the copper. So you got a couple of jobs at the moment. Ah, so he's also taking care of the farm. Maybe Hops isn't the best choice. I think a much better choice would be Gecko. He's only operating the iron resource and we have plenty of that. So I'm gonna delete his jobs and he's gonna go all the way down to my copper vein. Oh, there's a group of holy soldiers. No, band of bones. That is not a good sign. That is not good. Uh, let's go ahead and hide with Beastie and Siga. We need to run over there. Maybe go to the hub. But I believe this could be the raid they've been talking about. So the best thing we can do is just hide. Well, let's assign some jobs. The first thing I want Molly to do is take care of the iron vein. However, she's also going to be the cook, obviously. Jeez, Molly is really slow. Let's just go ahead and have a look in the building with heft. What I want to do, Molly, I want you to do the cooking. You're gonna do the cooking before anything else, so whenever you don't have anything to cook, you're taking care of the iron resource. However, before you do anything, you are going to sleep. Same thing for Hobbs. You need to sleep a little bit. How about Bark? Yeah, why not? You take that bed. Heft is also hurt a little bit. She's gonna go up here. And I guess that's all we can do right now. So Gecko is going to join the offshore crew. And that means all of you, I want you to go into the hub right now. Just hide for a day or so. Alright guys, we are back and I just received a warning that this encampment is going to be attacked. I now actually named it main base for the time being. And I believe we have approximately four hours or so until they appear. So what I want to do is, uh, I mean, we have to flee, right? Therefore, we want to collect all of our food because that's what they are after. Heft is gonna have a look into the barrel here. I mean, this is precious loot. We don't want to lose that. So, Bully, you're gonna take all of our food and keep it safe, hopefully. Same thing actually counts for the bread. I haven't even told you yet, but I installed this straw flour storage. And we also now have a bread oven. So what you do is actually put the wheat straw into the grain silo, make straw flour out of it, then put that into the bread oven with water and you get some bread. We actually already made 17 of it. So you can see we're stacked with food. So let's also put all of the bread into Bully's inventory and we should be ready for this raid. In the meantime, Nathan is still building the wall, but I don't think we will be able to finish it because at the moment we're lacking the building materials. Though what we could do is actually assign Bark to help out a little bit. Heft also has nothing to do right now, so she's going to help. Three people can work on this and we can make it much faster. Ah, there we go. I think this must be the raid. Yeah, they're the Black Dragon Ninjas. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a little bit embarrassing. Oh, that reminds me, we still don't have a name. Like, our faction is still nameless. I'm still gonna wait for a couple more suggestions by you guys. Let's also do something embarrassing like those ninjas. For now, I'm gonna call myself From the Ashes. <laughs> oh, so cheesy. Anyways, I guess what we now have to do is we, we have to flee, right? Uh, they're coming from here, so they're gonna go over the bridge. If we kind of move out of here, we should be good. But now, everyone listen up, stop your jobs, and you're gonna get the heck out of here. Let's see if that actually works out. I believe they come here, then they talk a little bit, so they do not immediately attack you. But it looks as though we will be able to get out of there before they even see us. Ooh, this place better have good loot. They're just standing there talking for a little bit. In the meantime, we can get away. Ah, there we go. The raid has actually started and we're long gone. So let's actually see what they're gonna do. Yeah, there we go. They are gathering around the food barrel. 
That's what I thought, but I left you nothing. That's what you get. They run around like frightened chickens because they can get nothing back to their boss. So yeah, I guess there's nothing else for us to do right now. We can just hide a little bit. Let me see. Ugh, guys. Well, I guess this spot is good enough. We're just gonna wait it out here. How are our offshore workers doing? We got 65 copper already. Oh, this is amazing. Let's put that into Beastie. We're gonna fill you all up. So much money. Oh, oh, something happened here. I did not expect that to happen. The holy faction chips in. Oh, that's brilliant. I wonder if they are able to win. I mean, uh, there are a lot of guys. Yeah, he might even be able to take out these guys. I cannot go any closer. No, there are just too many. Oh, though these guys actually survived. Maybe let's take Nathan and come here. I want to check this out. Let's check out one of these black dragon ninjas. What have you got? Ooh, ninja blades. I wonder if I should use them for myself. I had no idea that you can actually dual wield like that. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna be a ninja. I think I'm also gonna grab the hat. It's a pretty good hat. If you have a complete outfit, you can use faction uniforms to disguise yourself. That is cool. So let's grab one entire uniform. Even the sandals actually count as a faction uniform. Nice, now we have a complete disguise outfit and this guy does not look healthy. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna snatch all of these blades and uh, equip my squads with them. Though they are not too good. I think my katana is better, so I exchanged it again. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, at least they're still worth a lot. Even though they're not the best of weapons. I'm in a pretty bad position here. Let me first get out of here. Come on, Nathan, get away. This might have been a mistake. At least I'm much faster at swimming. Oh no! What are my guys doing here? Wait, wait, wait. It's because I initiated combat. You have to go here, be passive, please. Okay, I think they have all been defeated. There are no more bandits left over. That's what you get for attacking my freaking camp. Let's re-enable the jobs and we go back to our encampment. Well, I would say as a final step for today, it's finally time to unlock the cotton stuff. And I already have tons of cotton right here. We just need to grab two. And of course, I totally have no inventory space. But we can leave the disguise here. So let's put the cotton in the inventory here, two pieces, and that should allow us to unlock cotton farming, exactly what I need as a first step for the fabric. So let's actually go to sleep with Nathan, because he's badly injured, and I'm gonna be right back once we got the cotton stuff. Alright guys, we are back and as we can see, the cotton field has finally grown. Hops, Barks and Nathan are already on it. What I actually want to do first of all is upgrade this field. So I'm gonna use 15 of the 30 cotton we get to do just that. But let's have a proper look at that. What we should probably do is tell Heft to also take care of hauling the cotton. So here's my cotton storage. At the moment it's empty, but if we add that to Heft, she is gonna get everything we get from the farm, just like that. She actually now also uses her backpack sometimes. But there we go, that's what I'm talking about. I've also upgraded the wheat farm, so now we get 72 wheat straw per harvest. Pretty sick. And there we go, we are done. All the plants have been removed, so it's time to upgrade this. Nathan should be taking care of that, no problemo. Now, Hobbs is actually working on the wrong side of this machine. You can see his laboring skill suffers because he's in the darkness. He should be right over here where I set up the light. If we look now, his laboring skill is 80 again. So maybe I have to set up more lights and do it more properly. Let's dismantle this and dismantle that. Then let's do electrical torch right here and there on the other side as well. I just need to cover all of the spots where they potentially start working. So that's six posts. We have plenty of arm plates. It's not gonna be an issue. There we go, the field has been completed. The next upgrade step would take me another 15 and I'm actually gonna do that as soon as we get the next harvest. For now, what I want to do, Nathan, what are you even doing here? Ah, we have some cotton here. This is actually a new machine I added, the fabric loom. And of course we can make fabric out of cotton here. However, this thingy-ma-job, 
I can use in order to craft certain stuff. So I think I'm actually gonna equip all of my people with the same uniforms. Let's say all of the workers get a certain outfit and then all of the ranged people get a certain outfit, all of the tanks, etc, etc. At the moment, of course, I don't have too many things. We still have to purchase blueprints. However, let's assign this job to someone. Actually, Bark. Bark is doing the farms or the iron refinery. So I'm also gonna add this job right here. However, you should do that before the iron refinery. Whenever we have cotton, you're gonna produce fabric. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And now we can see that's working like a charm. Now, theoretically, I should already have told Heft to bring this over. I'm not so sure. Yeah, right there. Hauling to fabric chest. She has the job. So what she's gonna do is bring everything over here to this fabric storage, which needs to be inside. So I would say that all makes sense so far. I just realized Nathan actually automatically took the fabric so we cannot see Heft hauling it over because he's using it for the beds. Anyways, that's the entire gist of it. I think I'm gonna continue a little bit like that. At the moment, we have plenty of food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to recruit at least five people that can potentially become my fighting squad. So that is gonna take a lot of training and a lot of time. But in the meantime, we can accumulate materials. We can strengthen our defenses, maybe set up a couple of turrets so that we don't have to run away from each raid. But with that out of the way, I would say we're gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.